Good morning, fellow captors, and welcome to another edition of the Park Royal Quarantine Quiz. My name is Matty Shaw. I am delighted to be here with you this morning presenting yet another quiz. I hope you've enjoyed the quizzes thus far this week. If you have any suggestions on rounds that you would like to see in future quizzes, get in contact with me. I know some of you have already, but it's been a good week so far, and let's continue it on with another round of quizzing. It's three rounds of 10 questions. You get the answers at the end of every round. And to be eligible for prizes, please make sure you write your answers on a piece of paper and photograph them after the quiz and either send it to myself or Park Royal. And as always, play fairly, play honestly, and most of all, have fun. We're going to jump straight into the first round of quizzing. It is Capital City. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to get your pens and paper ready before we launch into question number one. What is the capital of New Zealand? Question number two. Baku, Baku is the capital of what country? Question number three. If I'm looking at the Trevi Fountain, what capital city am I in? Question number four. WAW is the airport code for the airport in which capital city? W A W. Question number five. If I'm visiting the capital of Belarus, what city am I in? Move across to question number six. The Sultan Quabu's Grand Mosque is found in which capital city? Camden and Brixton are areas of which capital? Question number eight, which capital city appears in the title of a 2014 film starring Ralph Fiennes and directed by Wes Anderson? Question number nine, what is the capital of Cambodia? And finally, question number 10, Bogota is the capital of which South American country? Give you a few more seconds on that before we jump across to the answers for round number one. The capital of New Zealand is Wellington. Answer number two was Azerbaijan. Number three, the Trevi Fountain will be found in Rome, Italy. Number four, WAW is the airport code for Warsaw in Poland. 
The capital of Belarus is Minsk. Number six, the mosque was found in Muscat, Oman. Number seven, Camden and Brixton are found in London, England. The film with Fines and Wes Anderson was the Grand Budapest Hotel. The capital of Cambodia is Phnom Penh. And Bogota is located in Colombia. Hope you made up some good points in that round. I think that was quite an easy one to kick us off with. This one, maybe not so much. It's a round suggested by my good friend Ellie Reynolds, and it is Famous Feet. I'm going to show you feet of famous celebrities. I believe all of them are female celebrities. Um, and you've got to tell me whose feet they belong to. So thank you for this, Ellie. I'm sure this is going to be enjoyed by everybody. This is feet number one. Do those feet belong to Miss Kendall Jenner, Taylor Swift, or Madonna? In the round of famous feet. Feet number two. Do these feet belong to Cara Delevingne, Jennifer Aniston, or Mila Kunis? Moving on to feet number three. Not as good looking as some of the others. Do these belong to Natalie Portman, Catherine Jenkins, or Scarlett Johansson? Look at the toes on that. That is obscene. You would not be proud if those were your feet. I'm, I'm being honest with you. Not good looking feet at all. But who do they belong to? Maybe the rest of said celebrities limbs are better looking. Feet number four. Do these feet belong to Halle Berry, Jessica Alba, or Jennifer Lopez? I apologize for the distorted quality on the images as well, but not very often will photographers take people photos of just people's feet, so they are zoomed in quite a lot to get these pictures. All right, you finished with feet number four. We'll move on to feet number five. Do these feet belong to Gigi Hadid, Kristen Stewart, or Paris Hilton? Feet number five in the round of famous feet. She looks pigeon-toed there. I don't know if that's how she's standing or it was just an awkward time with the photographer. Maybe that might be a clue. Feet number five. We'll move on to feet number six. Do these feet belong to Kate Middleton, Kate Moss, or Mariah Carey? They do look very fat, these feet. I don't know where the, the foot stops and the ankle start. Interesting looking little trotters. For feet number six. Taking a look at feet number seven now. This is an easy one. Do these belong to Reese Witherspoon, Angelina Jolie, or Blake Lively? Does it look like they've possibly got six toes there on that leading foot? Or is that just a bit jutting out? They do look very... Very footy. You can definitely see where the ankle starts on these feet. Definitely. All right, that was feet number seven. These are feet number eight. These belong to Megan Fox, Katy Perry, or Sarah Jessica Parker. Maybe the shoes might be the giveaway on this one. Possibly. Very veiny feet, though. Mind you, the veins do pop up when your heels are that high. Probably. <laughs> what would I know? I've never worn high heels in my life. <laughs> All right.
Right, we'll move to feet number nine now. That's a bit of a, a high resolution photo. Do these feet belong to Britney Spears, Eva Mendes, or Kate Beckinsale? Looks like she needs to get a bigger pair of shoes. They don't even look like they fit. Toes are bloody crawling out the side of the straps. Jeez. I apologise for the quality of the image on this one. This is almost too high definition. It's almost getting to the point that it's painful. Won't keep you on this one too much longer. We'll move across to feet number 10. Here's some good looking feet. Do these belong to Diane Kruger, Emma Stone or Julia Roberts? The final set of feet in our round of famous feet. Thank you, Ali Reynolds. Thank you. Right. You enjoy that round? I definitely enjoy presenting it. Let's take a look at the answers. Feet number one belonged to Kendall Jenner. There she is there on the right-hand side. Feet number two were Jennifer Aniston's little trotters. Number three was Katherine Jenkins. Number four belonged to Halle Berry. Number five was Paris Hilton. The little meaty trotters belong to Kate Middleton, feet number six. The lovely feet of Angelina Jolie were feet number seven. Sarah Jessica Parker had feet number eight. Number nine was Britney Spears. And your final feet for this round, Diane Kruger at feet number ten. Definitely much better looking, these ladies, when we don't have their feet in the picture. To be honest with you, I regret having that round in. Maybe it was a bit too extreme. I apologise for anyone who feels uncomfortable. But it's over now. We're on to Aussie general knowledge. Get ready for your third round. Question number one. In what year did Cyclone Tracy hit Darwin? Question number two, who are the actors that play Kath and Kim? You can see them there on the right hand side, but what are their names? Question number three, Australia has the world's largest sand island. What's its name? Question number four, who is the lead singer of Silverchair? And question number five, who was the most recent Australian to win the men's singles titles at Wimbledon? Move over to question number six now. In what year was Advance Australia Fair proclaimed as our national anthem? Was it 1984, 1985 or 1986? Question number seven. After Sydney, what is the second largest city in New South Wales? Question number eight. What Australian movie includes the famous line, Tell him he's dreaming? What film is that from? Question 
question number nine. Tell me how many gold medals did Australians win at the 2002 Winter Olympic Games? You'll get an extra point for every athlete that you can name that won a gold medal. And finally, question number 10, your final question of today's quiz. In what state or territory is the Brisbane Rangers National Park? There's a picture of it up there on the top right-hand side for reference. What state or territory is that? Okay, move over to your answers now for your final round of quizzing. 1974 was the answer to your first question when Cyclone Tracy hit Darwin. The actors that played, oh sorry, yeah, the actors that played Kath and Kim were Jane Turner and Gina Riley. The largest sand island in Australia is Fraser Island off the coast of Queensland. Lead singer of Silverchair is Daniel Johns. Answer number five. The last Australian to win a men's singles title at Wimbledon was Leighton Hewitt. Back in, I think it was 2004. It's been quite some time since we've had any success in tennis. A, 1984 was when Advance Australia Fair was adopted as our national anthem. Second largest city in New South Wales is Newcastle. And speaking of castles, tell him he's dreaming is from the film The Castle. And number nine, we won two medals at the 2002 Winter Olympics. Stephen Bradbury, The Underdog Story, and Alyssa Camplin. For those of you that don't know the story of Stephen Bradbury, he only won a gold medal in the ice skating racing I don't know what it is speed skating because all of his other opponents fell over he was in last everyone else tumbled and he ended up winning a gold medal so we love him for that and number 10 was the Brisbane Rangers National Park is actually in Victoria uh, for those of you that said Queensland you've been absolutely duped and taken for a ride and for those that said Victoria, congratulations. And that concludes today's quiz. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back again tomorrow presenting another quiz. If you'd like to suggest a round or anything you'd like to see in the quiz or any rounds particularly that you've really hated and are absolutely terrible, I'll accept any feedback, positive or negative. You can send it to me through Facebook or just pop it in the comments. But thank you so much for playing. If you want to be eligible for prizes, write your answers on a piece of paper, photograph them and send them back to me or to Park Royal. And join me again tomorrow at 10am for another quiz. Until next time, stay safe. Goodbye.